Spaced armor. Is it actually good or is it just a fun high fleet concept? Hello there fellow Tarhans. I'm Captain Beans and I'm going to answer this question for you. And to answer this question, uh, let's first define spaced armor. And uh, my way of defining it is that uh, it has this one principle. It's to have empty space, such as you can see on my design right here, right here, right here and right here, is you need to have empty space between armor and the body of your ship. And that's about it, really. Uh, that's all there is to it. Now, spaced armor uh, in High Fleet can come in many shapes and sizes, uh, but for the sake of uh, answering the question, I'm going to be using uh, this design right here and several variations of it. And uh, I'll answer this question like that. Now, before I uh, show you the advantages and disadvantages of spaced armor, let me just show you how I uh, created this this style of armor, which, by the way, is not really my idea. It's inspired from other High Fleet creators. But the way you do it is I'm just going to use this whole piece as an example. So you grab these triangular armor pieces, place them on the whole piece at corresponding angles, flip your triangle 90 degrees, and place it on the triangles that are already on the whole piece. Like so. And the reason why I chose this design is because this is lighter than having one of these thick boy armors. And now let's get into the advantages and disadvantages of spaced armor just as a whole. Now the first advantage of uh, any spaced armor design uh, is that because it is armor, it, it provides protection against uh, artillery and uh, machine gun fire, obviously. And so that's the first advantage. The second advantage of having spaced armor is that uh, having armor spaced out from the body of your ship uh, can actually protect the body of the ship from R5 uh, Zenith rockets. And that's because when, the, when an R5 Zenith hits the spaced armor, it has a certain radius of effect or an AOE of the explosion when it, on impact. If the body of the ship is spaced uh, some distance from the armor, uh, the armor could get destroyed but the body of the ship will be completely fine. Another advantage of R5 Zenith is that if you have a design such as this one, uh, you can actually place uh, R5 Zenith rockets. Like so. And you can place them however you like. And really, uh, this design is pretty cool because you can install really anything in there. Balash systems, flares, uh, hell, even evac pods if you're into that. But yeah, that's one other advantage of spaced armor if you're using these steel hull pieces as the spaced armor. Now the final advantage of uh, spaced armor, and that really depends on what kind of armor that you use, uh, but let it be uh, this design right here. Uh, the one that you're seeing right here. One ad advantage of this is that the armor is lighter than if I were to put a bunch of these thick boy armors, heavy armor, around the ship. If I had to give this armor like a rank, it would be like a medium armor. It It is heavier than having uh, steel hull pieces, but it provides decent protection. And so if you're looking for a middle ground between heavy and light armor, uh, this triangular design uh, can, actually, can actually be quite suitable. And now let's get into the inevitable disadvantages of uh, spaced armor. And uh, let's start off with the most obvious uh, spaced armor flaw, 
and that is uh, like any piece of armor it is vulnerable to armor piercing rounds and if there is empty space between your armor and the body of the sh of your ship it is actually even more vulnerable to armor piercing because what will happen is the armor piercing round uh, once it pass passes the armor it doesn't have any more obstacles and it will just go straight through your ship uh, as you can probably see here what's go going on this disadvantage could be uh, controlled if you actually layer your armor or if you just avoid being hit by armor piercing rounds as a whole um, which I actually find the second solution to be a little bit better another disadvantage of having spaced armor is that sometimes depending upon the design that you use uh, it can actually be quite costly uh, not just uh, the initial cost of the ship but if your ship gets extremely damaged uh, repair costs can be high and if you use a design such as this one um, and some of these met, uh, steel hull pieces get damaged uh, sometimes towns uh, in Gerato will not have all of the pieces all of the steel hull pieces to fully repair your ship and now the third disadvantage which uh, only really applies to uh, spaced armor that uses these uh, thick boy plates is its weight. If you space your armor and you have these plates around it will it'll, it'll be extremely heavy for your ship and if you have such a ship design like here like this one your thrust to weight ratio will decrease and uh, let me actually just show you as an example how much that would be. Okay, so just to as an example, um, here's a design with uh, thick armor uh, spaced out. And uh, this design, of course, has a lower thrust to weight ratio. And it also has a lower speed and even lower range and more consumption. If you use heavy armor, of course, it's going to be heavier, uh, which will affect all of the other factors of the ship. But here's... Another question that I have uh, about spaced armor, which uh, you might also have, uh, and that is, will spacing the armor out help even more? And uh, to be honest, it actually do does have some advantages. The advantages of that, of course, is more protection from proximity fuses or R5 Zenith rockets, but the disadvantage of uh, spacing out the armor even more is that you use more materials to build out the armor which uh, could uh, not only be more costly but it can weigh, weigh a just a little bit more than if you were to just have uh, a small space between the armor and the main body of your ship. And I also know that some Tarhans uh, interpret spaced armor as uh, a design such as the one that you're seeing here where uh, you have steel hull pieces and um, honestly proximity fuses might be a little bit of an issue because uh, hull pieces in general are more vulnerable to proximity fuses uh, but if you have a design such as this one uh, once the first layer breaks uh, you'll still have a second layer that will protect the main body of your, sh of your ship. And uh, yeah, that's actually about it from the advantages and disadvantages. And now let's move on to the final question. Is spaced armor actually good in High Fleet? Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, because to be honest, I do not really have... Uh, one definite answer yes or no but personally I believe that spaced armor is a fun concept to play around with in the ship editor and to just grab one of these and then play against uh, a large ship just for fun and just to test it out 
but in the actual real game in the real campaign i'm not sure if having spaced armor on a small ship is uh, practical or not but there's always the comments and there's always going to be people that disagree with me uh, so feel free to do that in the comments and that is uh, about it from uh, this builds video if you like my content and you feel like you want to see more of this stuff or uh, if you want to see more high fleet or even more games in general then commit the war crime on the subscribe button and the like button and that is going to be it for this one. I'm Captain Beans, and yeah, goodbye.